Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox scripting tutorial, and guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you about tables. Now, um, anyways, let's go ahead and start. Um, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and if it helps you out, and subscribe if you're new, um, but yeah. Okay, actually, before we start, I want to say one thing. Please go watch all the other tutorials that you haven't seen before, so if you're new to the video, or this is your first video by me, you need to make sure you watch all the other ones before this, or else you won't understand what's going on. So yeah, link in the description in the playlist, and um, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and create our first table. So how we do this, okay, we're going to create, um, it's like I create a variable, kind of. We're going to do local, um, my first table is equal to, and then we're going to put some some uh, curly braces, what they're called, curly braces, okay. I call them curly brackets, so if I say that, that's what I mean, but um, yeah, so that curly braces, okay, or braces, actually. I, I don't even know, man, but that's what I call them. So yeah, we're going to make these little things right here, okay. And then basically what a table is, is it's like it's like a variable. But you can add a lot of stuff into it. You can't just put. You don't just put one value. So, for example, I could put a table. Okay. Now this is my first table, and what it equals is um, five, three, six, eight. Okay. Actually, you know what? We'll name this my favorite numbers. Okay. My favorite numbers. Okay. And all my favorite numbers are right here. Now I can make it this. You know, like whatever I wanted to. Right. And also, what's cool about this too is I can put other values in here besides besides just integers, okay, or besides just numbers. I could put also a string in here. I could put um, my favorite number is eleven, okay. Like I could put like that. So um, you get the point. I can put basically any kind of value inside the table. I can also put object um, locations or object like you know where they are, and I can do you know game dot workspace dot oh wait crap dot base plate. So now I have the base plate in there too, which is also stored under the table. Um, obviously it's not a number, but that's just what the table's called. Anyways, you get the point, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and create a table and also show you some more things about it. Now guys, tables are pretty useful because, you know, you're gonna be, you're gonna need to like store data. Like for example, okay, let's say you had a cooking game, okay? And it was called Cooking Plaza or something like that, right? <laughs> and you had this certain thing called an egg, or no, like an omelet, right? Let's say you made omelets in your game, okay? And you need to make sure you have all the ingredients stored under one big table. So that way it's simple. You don't have like all the ingredients separate, right? Like you don't have to do, you know, ham equals or whatever, right? You wanna have all the ingredients of the omelet in one table. So what you would do is, you know, you do local omelet equals, or omelet ingredients maybe, uh, equals um, egg, ham, oh wait, actually put string, sorry. Uh, ham, egg, uh, cheese you know you get, you get the point okay you can store everything in there so um yeah that's pretty much pretty much what you do okay so we're gonna be, i'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually um like mess with the table a little bit some things you can do to sort it out and stuff like that so um yeah so also I, my bad how do you add stuff to the table is there a way, easier way to do it besides like putting it like this okay so yes there's a way to do it so basically if you want to access your table right and you want to basically maybe you want to print out the first ingredient of your ham, okay? You wanna print out the first ingredient of your ham, right? Or the first ingredient of your omelet. I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm like tired right now, I don't know why, but <laughs> um, you wanna print out the first ingredient of your omelet, okay? What you would do is you would print omelet ingredients. Now you wouldn't just print that because this won't work. And then you put with brackets, okay? You'd put in there one. Now one, now why do you, why, why, do I, why would I put one, okay? Now basically what it's saying is you're gonna print omelet ingredients and the first ingredient of the omelet, which is the first thing here, okay, or the first key of the table, okay, is here. Now it goes, you know, this is the first key, this is the second key, this is the third key. And you can make as many as you want, right? So this is one, two, three, okay? Now if you guys have programmed in other languages before, you know that pr that tables actually normally start at zero, but in Lua or Roblox Lua, they start at one. So, um, yeah. Anyways, so, yeah, that, that's, that's what that does right there. Okay, so... Now, if I were to run this script, I can go ahead and print the omelet ingredients, which is the first ingredient there. Now, obviously, I could just copy this over, right? And I could do, oh, wait, crap, I didn't mean to do that. I could do um, two, and I could do three. But obviously, that takes a little while, and there must be a faster way to do it than printing all of them. Like, what if you didn't know there was three ingredients? What if you thought there was, 
only two. You know, you'd leave the last one out. So what you do to print it all out is you would um, concatenate it. But we'll get to that in a second. So what we're going to do, though, is actually make a, another thing like with numbers, okay? So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, four functions of tables, which you might be using soon. So yeah, so here's some four functions that I'm going to show you. There's more here, obviously, as you can see, but we're only going to be using four of them. So um, yeah, so we're going to be using table.concat. Okay, actually, we'll use three of them. And then we're going to be doing table. Dot, oh, sorry. So yeah, the other function we're showing you is table. Dot, um, insert. Actually, I'm not going to show you this one because this is kind of kind of useless to be honest because it just inserts one at the end of the table. But I guess it's yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. You just insert it to the end of the table. But um, yeah. Anyways, we're going to do table. Dot concat. We're going to do um, table. Dot um, remove. And then we're going to do table. Dot I think it's uh, sort. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna actually um, comment this out because right now it's gonna give us an error because it doesn't work. So yeah. All right. So now, if you want to use this one, we're gonna do table dot sort first. Okay. Table dot sort. What does this one do? Table dot sort. Basically, what it does is it adds, it adds um, like or not sorry, sorry not adds. It basically makes it so your table gets sorted um, least to greatest, okay, or least to greatest. So obviously it won't work with string values because string values aren't least to great, okay. If you, if you had a number table, like if you had local um, players phone numbers, okay, now obviously you probably wouldn't have this. But if you did, okay, you could do, um, you know, this is this, this is this, and uh, this is this, this, okay? Now obviously, it's probably not the phone number they're used, but you get the point, okay? You can basically set it in alphabetical order, or not alphabetical order, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Least the greatest order, okay? So I'm just gonna do um, simple numbers just so that way it's pretty easy to understand. So we'll do four, six, three, six, and then we'll do nine, okay, or eight, okay? And we'll do one at the end, okay? So basically, if I were to print this table right now, well, I could print the whole thing pretty easily, but um, you guys don't want to do that yet. But if I were to print the first value of the table, okay, so players' phone numbers, which isn't what it is, but print the first value, it would give me four, right? That's what we should expect. And wait, what? Um, wait, why did that just happen? I'm confused. Uh, ten. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I had print down here. Okay, <laughs> that's my bad. Okay, so if I were to print this, it would give me four, right? But now, if I were to actually sort the table out, so table dot sort, right? And then I were to do players phone numbers, okay. What would happen is it would it would sort it out and actually give me one first, okay. And now obviously the first key of it is actually four, but it gave me it printed out one because I actually sorted it out least the greatest. So um, yeah, that's what it does. Anyway, the second thing it does, um, or that's what that's what sort does. Now table dot remove. What does table dot remove does? It actually removes something from it, which is pretty simple to understand. Uh, table dot Remove table dot list. Uh, okay, yeah, and then we're gonna do the, the table here. So, and then we want to remove um, what we want to remove the second value. Okay, a second key, which is gonna be the six. So now it won't have the six in there. And um, oh my gosh, I made another error. Why did I just put that? Um, but now, yeah, now we'll have a six in there. Okay, you get the point. Um, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's a little confusing, but now if I were to print two, what you would think is is uh, you know like you know the six, it actually gonna be three. So yeah, see, um, hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But um, yeah, so that's what table dot remove does, and then table dot concat. So concat stands for concatenate, which basically means merge them all together. Okay, so let's say I wanted to have omelet ingredients, ham, egg, and cheese, and I wanted them all in one thing. Okay, or all in one like sentence. Now. This actually, doesn't, this actually doesn't work with um, strings, which I don't know why, but I don't think that it does, and I haven't found out how. But it does work with numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do table.concat, okay? And let me actually get rid of all this stuff here. I'm going to do table.concat, and then I'm going to put the table for the first parameter, okay? And then what's going to separate it? So what do you want to be in between all of this stuff? Now, I could put nothing here, and literally if I printed it, it would just be all the numbers in one big string. Oh wait, it didn't, I didn't print it, my bad. Um, um, but if I were to print it, it would be all the numbers in one big string, right? Oh wait, what? Oh, oh my, oh, my bad guys, I'm printing. Okay, wait, you need to use the table.concat inside of your um, inside of your print value, or inside of your print statement. So that's what you need to do, my bad. Um, but yeah, if I were to print it, it would put it all in one big string, and you know, it would be there like that, and basically, 
that's how it'd be like else that's how I'll put it together right but if I were to put a space here now it would print it all out in one big string but it actually has you know the four six three six eight all spaced together so that's what it's merging it by basically and I can put a comma here to make it look a little bit better and now it shows all my values four six three six eight one now also remember how I said it doesn't work with strings now I'm pretty sure it doesn't work with strings but I'll try it again just because I'm kind of curious um, but I, I, I want to see actually now guys this is, this is something you learned about scripting too right you learn new things okay you have to try stuff out I don't even know like see I don't know everything about scripting right <laughs> but I need to try stuff out so like let's do egg and then we're gonna do ham and then we're going to do cheese okay now I don't think this works for um, strings for some reason but let's try anyways okay I don't know but we'll find out so let's see uh, I think it's gonna give me an error cause I actually I think I tried it before and Okay, yep, it's giving me an error. <laughs> my studio is not responding right now. I don't know why, but you, you get the point, okay? It just doesn't work for some reason, and, oh, there it actually does work. Okay, so you can. See, like, I, I thought it didn't for some reason. Okay, so that's how you basically basically merge it all together, and I thought you could for some reason, but, um, see, so you can. So, yeah, I, I didn't even know, but, um, that's good. Now I know. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's what those four things do. And also, guys, we're going to be learning something very cool about tables next time. And this is where, okay, the next tutorial, guys, I promise it's going to be really exciting, okay? It's an interesting one, and um, it's going to be the last tutorial of this beginner series, okay? I'm going to make an advanced series soon, and um, basically it's going to be more advanced stuff like, uh, like, uh, like more like mouse stuff, GUI stuff, like local script stuff. It's a little bit more advanced, but don't worry, you guys can do it. And um, but yeah, that's the last. This is the last. It's gonna be the last video of the beginner series, the next one. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. I hope you understand. Like always, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy or it did help you and you did learn. And also leave any comments you have about them down below. If you have any questions or anything like that, make sure you comment it down below so I know how to answer it for you. And um, yeah, but we'll get on with this. So anyways, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and also, be sure to explore by yourself, guys. Um, I upload every other day, so you have some time in the day between to, you know, explore and learn about your own stuff. And, um, yeah, I guess that's 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 what I would do. You know, like, research some tables and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.